This video is an illustration of the mechanism of agrobacterium using the genes for herbicide and antibiotic resistance. The genes are first inserted into the TI plasmid between the left and right borders. Since agrobacterium mediated transformation is a binary system, the TI plasmid must then be inserted into agrobacterium using electroporation, sonication, heat shock, or some other method. Next, explants must be inoculated with agrobacterium. In this case, a scalpel is used to pick a colony from the plate and then wound the leaf of a plant. Agrobacterium then attaches to the plant's cell wall and transfers the tDNA portion of the TI plasmid to the host. This tDNA portion, which contained the genes encoding herbicide and antibiotic resistance, are then randomly inserted into the host's genome. The explants can be further cultured under sterile conditions on auger plates to form a callus, which is an undifferentiated mass of cells. The transformed callus can subsequently be cultured on auger plates containing the appropriate plant hormones and antibiotic to select only those plants that have been transformed. The result are whole transgenic plants exhibiting the trait of interest, in this case, herbicide resistance.